you. And if after the tour you want to try a little experiment, try walking across this room this way or from there to this way, watch in the eyes of the picture, and you swear that head turns and follows you as you walk across the room. And they tell us it takes a very good artist to get that effect into a portrait. On the wall next to us, some old barn tools, they were found in the barn back in the early 30s when they first uh, found the uh, first bought the barn. Now, if you follow me around here, I'm going to pick out some of these items here on the wall <coughs> and explain them to you. Overhead here is a Buddha that came out of China. It's an unusual one that has a crown on its head. Now, as you know, most Buddhas are either bareheaded or have a skull cap on. Right next to it, the white stone is a piece of the rock of Gibraltar. Now, you've seen these commercials on television about owning a piece of the rock. Now, the cathedral owns a piece of the rock. In the gold ring, here's a pebble from the country of Scotland. And this is what they call a death medal. During World War I, in the Canadian service, a man lost his life. The family were given a bronze medal with his name engraved on it. And they call them death medals, and that's what that is there. The belt buckle here belongs to a British soldier killed in World War I. The statue there, the dancing goddess of Shiva. This little jade statue came out of Korea, as did the piece of marble here, brought back by a young officer who had a polished and grave dedicated to the men of his regiment who lost their lives over there. And right next to it is a brass spike that was actually hand forged by Paul Revere. And it was done for the Constitution. We have some glazed coral from Florida, 